हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी हो पॉल फाइन दिस इज श्यामल हियर सो आई एम सिटिंग इन माय माइंड लैब एंड थिंकिंग व्हाट टू डू व्हाट नॉट टू डू बिकॉज यू हैव ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स देर इज नो डिफाइंड वर्क ड्यू टू कोरोना last night i was going through the popular few sites like do oh, they like facebook youtube and all those places where you have intellectual and common people like me like many others who the intellectual they upload the videos from a very recognized people they are recognized from the society so if i have to name specifically the great journalist shall i name the journalist probably it won't be good to name the journalist i i i'm going to tell at the end of my presentation who is this journalist he is talking about nehru and modi comparison he is trying to do it he is trying to tell that when modi was 4 years 5 years old that time or 7 years old how the iit established by jawahar lal nehru so my simple submission to this great journalist please don't forecast or don't give a false narrative to science or establishment of iits everybody knows that who has started or initiated iits it is not the jawaharlal nehru who was the prime minister at that time probably being holding the position as a prime minister of india so he has to sign certain things but one really need to go back and see who have initiated the concept of iits similar way today the show called congress he might be feeling that 1885 establishment of congress was done by the congress he it is not that way so they are claiming nowadays all this false claiming that false narrative what is trying to channelize through different media whether they are paid or they have vested interest i do not have any interest i i only think the their rationality their content and i try to analyze the what is the real history because what had happened in 1947 or before that or establishment of congress they really need to go back and understand this 1885 congress is not the today's congress even they are not obeying mahatma gandhi i have talked in many videos all those things probably i have given seven lectures on starting from 1885 the establishment of indian national congress to 2021 the whole freedom struggle then after that 1947 the partition of india who are the main leaders i have explained their academic background their mental strength and capabilities everything i have explained if anybody wish to see probably they can visit my lectures close to seven lectures starting from mahatma gandhi to mr modi ji the present prime minister of india it is a probably a narrative that is driving across india that is it's a kind of a intellectual propagation by the recognized so called journalist academicians or the prize uni winners like great great prize uni winners like nobel prize winners they are trying to give a lower importance or 
bringing a comparison, parallel comparison between two, what age has to do? If somebody is comparing me with my father, or if somebody is trying to compare me with Jawaharlal Nehru, is it a relevant thing? Is it, is it a very kind of a puzzle kind of thing? Comparison between two personalities or two ideas? I really do not know. Probably one can't. Is if somebody is telling Acharya Prafulla Chandra Rai is 200 years senior to me, what he has done that time today, what I have done or I have not done anything, that comparison, age comparison is probably irrelevant. The number one, God probably has not sent everybody at the same time. They are not throwing everybody that you go to heaven and started to work and I will have comparison. Why this is the comparative analysis that is coming, comparing Modi ji with Rabindranath Tagore, Modi ji with Jawaharlal Nehru, Modi ji with Indira Gandhi. Why this is coming? I, I, my simple submission to all intellectual analyze the merit of an individual, either it is bad or good. You, you critically analyze those things and try to evaluate this person or the philosophy. That is what my idea. I really do not like to <clears throat> get into a complexity comparing Mahatma Gandhi in 1893 and today, in 2021, Modi ji, how many years? 135 years. So, a lot of things are different. <laughs> the British India and today's India is totally, totally different. You have a difference of one century. How rational and how illogical those kind of idea that is injecting in society and colluding the mind, that is what I was about to tell. So friends, I am not here to criticize so-called recognized official spokesperson of XYZ parties or the spokesperson, they are intellectual. Common people are there to decide. I am nobody. Only my question, when I hear all those things, I have certain questions raised in my mind. Since I have covered, I have tried to understand the Indian history, history of science. I have taken up this matter from, from Hinduism to Buddhism, the philosophy. I have tried to analyze close to four, five thousand years of history and science. I have taken up Charles Darwin, natural selection or origin of life, how those have taken place up to the corona period. And whatever history of science, I have tried to also understand the history of science for nine, nine, 1901 to 2021, close to 1,000 Nobel laureates. And from 1969 to 2020, close to 8085 so-called Nobel laureate in economic science, even though it was not included in the original will paper of Alfred Nobel, the introduction, the objective, those Nobel Prize called Risk Bank Prize, whether those are actual Nobel Prize or not, that I have debated. I have posted many videos. My purpose of telling over here, I'm, I'm really want to go back I want to restrict my discussion with few lectures covering starting from our Indian history of science. So today we talk about Pandit Jahlal Nehru and he is as if the projection is something like that after 1947. Anything had happened in the era now of India, it is the contribution of Jawaharlal Nehru, even that for the industrialization, pushing the science and everything, it is the idea of Jawaharlal Nehru. Again, friends, those are all very wrong ideas. Before that also, I want to bring the real history so that the young generation or the present generation probably 
use their wisdom and exercise to understand that who are the real architect of India. We talk about the nationalism and internationalism. I will also cover a whole lot of things starting from Prabhupada Chandra Rai, Jagadish Chandra Bosch, Shatten Bosch, Meghnath Saha, Dr. Homi Bhabha, all the great scientists. There are many. I will try to cover up during British time whatever the contribution they have made and whatever the circumstances in their contribution for Indian science. They are basically a great scientist for, they are not getting the Nobel Prize for many reasons and they really deserve Nobel Prize and even though they have applied, they have denied for many reasons and many reasons has been given. So those reasons might be very funny. But nobody has taken into consideration one part. I was trying to review the whole thing like, you know, what had happened. See, there is a small, it is a, not a small thing. It is a very prominent thing that when Alfred Nobel was born in 1832, in my video, I told about the foundation of Nobel Foundation, the objective, 1832, and he was forming a kind of a will close to 1895 to 96. That is his will paper of Alfred Nobel is 94% of his total earning. This gentleman is a very, very intelligent and very professional. He is, he is having the economic thing in his mind probably. Probably Earlier days, what scientists used to do, very holistic kind of science. Nobody is worried about the patenting, keeping whatever great science they are doing. So economic part, probably they have not given thought that money can be pulled from the technology. But probably Alfred Nobel is the first scientist. He has categorically patented his 355 technologies. He is a chemist, an engineer, an entrepreneur, an industrialist too. So there are many things that he has done in his life like dynamite and establishing company like Bofors. So switching over from the traditional business, from family business to his technologies that has taken a different shape. So friends, what I am trying to tell over here is after that, this gentleman is going and forming Nobel Foundation and his desire to exercise or give importance or to the science and technology, whoever the newcomers are coming, for them is setting up award for five subjects, starting from physics, chemistry, physiology, slash medicine, peace and literature. Those five domain area is defining in his will paper, <coughs> sorry. It clearly indicates his vision and how he wants to execute it as a private company, who is going to give those Nobel Prize, like Swedish Academy of Science and has given those responsibility to have free and fair selection of selecting Nobel Prize winner, price and everything has been, how much award money has been given, everything has been discussed in detail with the prize money too. So there is no biasness that I have talked in many videos. My purpose of telling this Nobel Prize, I was telling that this is a core of intellectualism. Here you can have the derivation of nationalism and internationalism. There is a clear cut definition that it, it is the tendency that is shown in their number of Nobel Prize winners are getting Nobel Prize on the basis of who is more nationalist and who is not, whose views are their internationalist. So friends, science is not derived or nobody is doing science for specifically some science may not be applied for India. If you are writing a formula for India centric, probably this science doesn't work. Science is having the universalism. For that matter, if you see Jagadish Chandra Bose, Sotten Bose, Meghnath Saha, 
they are interacting and publishing great papers, publishing, they are interacting with the great scientists like who were the scientists like you know, Einstein, Bose Einstein theory, those theories are today still relevant. But they have not got their due respect for that matter, Jagadish Chandra Bose, whatever he has discovered. A plant has got life and is also radio transmission. The many things. They have worked on multidisciplinary field. I'm going to take each and every scientist probably. I'm going to explain what are their contributions. They deserve Nobel Prize. But only thing, one, one thing I want to convey, the Nobel Foundation and their life, both are parallel. Like, you no, know, in, in, you are establishing or starting to give Nobel Prize from 1901. And if you see Jagdish Bose, Meghnath Saha, Prabhupada Chandra, all are, very much there and their contribution publishing all are going to UK for their research, they are publishing great publication, they are getting academic appreciation but not the getting the Nobel Prize. The only reason probably I find because they are nationalist. People might be talking many things, right? Many analysis probably done, I can see there are a lot of Intellectuals, they have tried to give their own logic and thinking power. But in my opinion, only thing that they are involved in freedom movement in India. Many ways, directly, indirectly. Prabhupada Chandra Rai, their great student, Jagadish Chandra Bose, Meghnath Saha, they are all students. It is like, no, you have the great mind like Prabhupada Chandra. He is a true nationalist. People talk about the industrialization today, Jawaharlal Nehru is the architect of modern India. But I find Prabhupada Chandra Rai is much before he has thinking, started Bengal Chemicals, first pharmaceutical company in India. He is comparable to Alfred Nobel in India. If you really see, he is a great innovator, great thinker, his idea in many ways like, you no. Know, chemistry, physics, biology, and history of science, male multidisciplinary thing, he is trying to do all kind of things. And whatever he has done for humanity, and that is kind of a countless thing, I will explain to you. My only submission to all those Congressy followers, I request them, you are living in India, Probably a time has come for the new generation to give new light, to give the real sense of history, who is contributing what, whatever the contribution, really it is done by those people, the great people, has to be highlighted. It is not the award Bharat Radna, you can have Bharat Radna for yourself, that is fine. The, the fundamental thing what I was trying to tell you, you please, the Bose Institute, Sa Institute of Nuclear Physics, Cultivation of Science, all those great institutes and the founders, the great scientists involved, great mind involved, one has to really give respect. But it has to be highlighted. There is no question of respect or award. They have not worked for money forever. You can give all those Gandhi family, Nehru family, you can give whole India's name and roads in your name. Absolutely, you have been, you have done it for 60, 65 years. There is no denial. But please don't torture the history. Probably you need to give the real sense of history, whoever has done the right thing. The right respect, probably they deserve it and it should be placed in a proper way, that is what I was trying to. You cannot erase those histories like, no, Dr. Prabhupada Chandra Sen, Dr. Prabhupada, Dr. Pishi Rai, Meghnath Saha, Jagadish Chandra Bose, Dr. Homi Bhava, all those great scientists, whatever the contribution they have done for life science research and nuclear research, those contributions probably has to be taken into consideration and it should be given a first preference for the new generation to know more about themselves that is what the whole idea i was trying to tell you people talk about pandit jahallal nehru i i ask this congress people go and read history from where this pandit come pandit we say this is a very intelligent literate qualified fellow but 
it is from the Kashmir origin. So, don't bring their religion and this Pandit terminology. We all Pandits are not Pandit probably. So, my submission to those great old days Congressy or Congressy followers, rather I say, whoever is giving all kind of They are exercising their knowledge and wisdom to promote those things. Please have little sense because time has come to save this nation. I am not talking about whether nationalism is good or bad. I am talking about those are part of history. They are nationalist. So, friends, I am going to talk about those big personalities starting from 1890 to till date in science whoever contributed in a greater way this is one of my idea of giving a sense of science and real contribution done the second thing the establishment of iit and their objective i want to talk about whole lot of things about the objective of iit and one can go literally go to the hrd ministry or Government of India's agenda for establishing IIT, who have developed this IIT, initiated and how many IITs still did establish across India, including ISC Bangalore. ISC, Indian Institute of Science has developed much before than IIT. Both objectives are different. One, this idea is coming just before independence 1945, the great minds, they have idea. Even though we are claiming Jawaharlal Nehru, so I'll come back to I'll I'll try to try to correlate all those things. I'll try to debunk those puzzles of IITs, their establishment, their objective, and how those IIT concept like you no know, students, the creamy students who are getting into IIT, how many of them are developing, are staying in India and contributing for national development. There itself probably you can get the real idea or understanding what is nationalism, what is internationalism, what is the personal interest. So friends, when nationalism is coming to the picture, one has to see very clearly. You keep cows and buffaloes and at home. What is the idea? Just for love you keep it or what? You want to have milk. Even hypothetically, if you think of having milk from cows, who should be getting first preferences? Your family members? Or you want to give it to the neighbors? Just think over it. If you have a buffalo, or if you have a cultivation land, what you do it? Those buffalo, you give it for renting or you send them to your neighbor's house to do whatever agriculture. So friends, the question of nationalism, if everybody is taking somebody is anti-nationalist or nationalist or universalist, those ideas can be taken in a very concrete and compact way. It has to be analyzed in a very micro level analysis is required. That is what I feel your wisdom and knowledge and rational thinking process probably one need to exercise. That's why if you do not have the good wisdom or vision or understanding your narrowness probably that is deriving at something that you only see in the eyes of Nehru Gandhi and family everything you do not you are like working like a horse you are told like no you move in that direction whether there is all kind of roads whether it is a bad road or good road you don't use your mind and exercising anything I am talking about Mr. Binodda Dua. You are such a old journalist. Please, in this age, also probably have in your last stage of your life, have some rational thinking. When you are going to speak the truth to the people of India, the next generation, I really do not know. I do not have any words. After watching two, three minutes, I have deleted this video from my listing and I posted one video over there. I have also given my idea, please go back and read, it is a close to 35 minutes video what I talked about from 1893 to 
2021. Why you need to compare Modi ji with Mahatma Gandhi, Modi ji with Indira Gandhi, Modi ji with Jawaharlal Nehru? I do not have any rationality. I have something to say. If you like it, spend 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you will get your idea. I have deleted your video from my list. It came to me probably out of curiosity. I was because I know I've been following you when you are working with NDTV and all those. So, plus 20 years I am watching you. I got fed up with all those things. Please stop all those things. Probably this is my advice to you. As a young guy, I am telling you those things are not going to work. Finally, what I want to tell you, I have a vision to discuss or deliver lecture or my understanding and wisdom because I am sitting at back of my Buddha. I have already delivered close to 15-20 lectures on various issues starting from how I have not talked about those issues like no Nobel Foundation that money will be given to this thing and the transparency part also I have talked about that, that five subject the original will paper of Nobel Foundation so whoever is getting the Nobel Prize and whoever the applicant, it should be in public domain. That is the transparent way. Dr. Alfred's Nobel Fear was there. After his death, probably it should not get into a complex or personal thing. Probably he has realized all those things. That's why he has kept all those things in his will paper. But after that, his concept of Nobel Prize that has been diluted and new subject that has been introduced. They have tried to introduce many subjects but one of the subject that is not also a subject called economic science that came into 1968 from the Swedish bank. So they have given huge amount of money for 300 years of anniversary celebration kind of thing. They approach Nobel Foundation to start a new subject and a new Nobel Prize in economic science in the memory of Alfred Nobel. Look, people talk about this is a Nobel Prize. In my opinion, I have given three hours lecture. What is this all about? I told this is not Nobel Prize because it is not. Alfred Nobel is not talking about economic science. No way in his will paper this subject. He is a smart fellow. People might be thinking that he has forgotten might have been. This person is having 355 patents. He will, he's not going to forget all those things. You might be forgetting many things, but he doesn't forget. He's a very intelligent person. He has not given the importance of economic science. He knows this is number one. It is not a science. You don't need a Nobel Prize to understand economic science. He's very clear about the whole thing. He has not included the mathematics also. So he's pretty sure what he was doing. And... My final thing was telling this economic science prize is a is a memorial prize, is a risk bank prize. One can visit the actual Nobel Foundation website. And those Nobel Prize winners, what they are doing throughout the world, it is known to everybody. What kind of aggression, what kind of philosophy they are bringing, it is known to everybody. I have talked in my videos, probably one can refer. I am going to speak few lectures. That is what my agenda, my few lectures on the history of Indian science development, the contribution made by various personalities for close to 200 years or 150 years probably. That will give you real insight of this and why they have got not the got Nobel Prize that I have also told and what is the allergic relation or kind of a opposite relation between nationalism and internationalism if somebody is nationalist why they don't get Nobel Prize and how come the science is also mixed up with this basic principle of Dr. Alfred Nobel natural justice, natural wisdom, natural talent, the real people should be given Nobel Prize, how it has been diluted for many years for the next generation whoever is controlling Nobel Foundation, that is what my objective. So even though we talked about many things that this paper has not reached at the right time and right donation and all those things they have talked about, it is not, those are not the thing probably taken into consideration because many scientists, they have not 
accepting this concept of patenting that has to be also understood. The objective of patenting is totally different. If I am doing something good for science, what is there from if I get a technology to earn money? Those are philosophical understanding probably. Many scientists, they have realized that's why they have not opted for patenting. If you do not have the patent, the same conflict Marconi and Jagadish Chandra Bose, if you really go, it's a debate of patent and non-patent. So we'll go back and because his science has taken in a different, is a commercialization. If you want to have a commercialization of science, that is a different thing. It's your wish and desire. But if you take the holistic science or natural science, you have done something. So what is there to have patent and earn money? That time concept was different. Friends, I'm not going to discuss about more things and I'm going to cover the whole lot of things. The establishment of IIT, different IIT and objective and who has done the real work, how many IITs are there, even including ISC, Indian Institute of Science, the various research institute. That I'm going to correlate with brain drain, the objective, the mandate for aged HRD ministry what it is written and my suggestion would be the government of India that what they need to do it to to contribute using those IIT for our national development because we are spending our money taxpayer money to run those institutes that one need to see that how much contribution they are doing I am going to analyze from 1900. 49 or 51 first establishment of Kharagpur IIT to till date how many students have gone abroad and where they have settled and what kind of contribution they are doing it and what kind of nationalism they are doing it or anti-nationalism they are doing it how much money they have pulled I am going to cover up the whole thing probably four or five lectures I am going to cover it probably this is my introductory part this is my recent document document and I want to have few more things extended probably in, in elaboration that is for the common young generation to understand what is science is all about the history part it is very important for any country to know the history of science their original history once this part is clear probably much better thing you you'll uh, eyes will be much more clearer in front of i uh, hate to to think rationally i am a rational thinker once again thank you very much for bearing me out and hearing me out that is what i want to tell you i've spoken close to 32 minutes 37 seconds so i won't be able to upload this video probably in youtube youtube i can upload for many number of hours but i want to put in my facebook so to give little awareness nothing to do it all are fine, everybody is fine, Nehru is fine at his place and uh, their worshipper also are fine at the place. I am here being as Indian, I have my small right, I am exercising it because Corona has given a lot of time that I respect Corona Devi and respect Corona Devi and Gautam Buddha, I am following him because I feel very good about him and my mind become a from imbalance to balance when I my mind is imbalancing probably he is acting as a kind of a buffer solution is trying to balancing my mind I usually uh, always at my home also I have a big Buddha at back of my home whenever I feel good so Buddha is there here at my office, my mind lab Buddha is there. Thank you very much. For more, probably one can visit my mind lab, M I N D L A B, Dr. H. Paul. You can Google search it, you will get many things about my ideas, what I think about my ideas of many issues. So, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye. Take care.